Disappointment happens every single year. You know, I was injured my first year. I was out for eight months uh, on crutches in junior year. Um, I, was, uh, I was starting on the team. Six games into the season, I actually end up um, uh, being removed from the starting lineup, and I, I, lo I lost my spot. And uh, for the rest of the season, I, I never started again that season, which was really difficult. Yeah, being being on the bench uh, and uh, not playing as much, you really appreciate the value, and and it, it's you see you get to see what you're made of. Like in times when you when you know you're practicing very hard and you're putting so much effort, you're putting the work in, but there's no you know real whatever you know tangible benefits at the time. You you really begin to realize how much you love the game, how much you love to work hard, and and what type of you know resilience or character you have. It's tough. It's tough to kind of say yeah. I, I, those are my numbers. That's what I represent. That's what I gave. That's what I represent. That's what I produced. But you need to accept that and take responsibility before you can, um, you know, really improve upon it and move forward. It was a pride thing. It kind of tests how much pride you have. Are you are you just gonna lie down or like you know crumble and just kind of say yeah I guess I am that, or are you gonna keep, um, or are you gonna keep you know pushing for what you feel you deserve and, and, and who you are. I know one last thing, it's, 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 it's sometimes you kind of, the doubts when it comes in, you know, I feel it's always great to have a reference point for you to look back, yeah, you know, and, and really look at the times when you were resilient and look at the times when you made, let's say, you had that personal moment in your room when you were, you know, just talking to yourself and you want to be something more, you know there's something more, you know, try and capture those moments, try and really remember those reference points and you can, build rituals or, or everyday um, exercises, little things, doing little things that can build up over time um, that really get you mentally keyed in and, and, and you know, spiritually keyed in to, to who you are and who you want to be.